down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. We stand in the streets, all in a row. When it starts to get dark, we're ready to go. All through the night, we shine, beam and glow. What are we? We're street lamps. Look at the lights, Pippin. Aren't they pretty? Hello, my dears. We've got a wonderful view of the street lights shining and twinkling below us. We've been shopping with my sister Edie. She's so slow, it took all day. Nearly home now, Pippin. worn out. I've got a torch somewhere. Oh! Oh, what's that? Oh, dear. Oops! Pippin, go and find the torch before I do any more damage. Oh, good, you've got it. Now, you hold it for me. Got a new bulb here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Hold the torch still, Pippin. I can't see what I'm doing. Now, take out the old bulb and put in the new one. Better? Now we can see where we're going. Oh. Thank you, Pippin. Oh, dear. What did it do? want your evening walk, don't you? It was a bit late, but... Oh, come on then. It won't take long.
the dark. Oh, dear. The street lamp isn't on. We'd better go very carefully, Pippin. I'll report it in the morning. Street lamps, street lamps, shining so brightly, all of them giving us plenty of light. We won't go far in the dark of night without street lamps. Daylight comes and the lamps go out all over the town. One's been hit, and Laurie did that. But it didn't fall down See them by the side of the motorway All in a line they stand silent and tall Short ones too, we need them all Our street lamps Good morning, Pippin Rise and shine Hello. Is that the council? I'd like to report a street lamp in Acacia Road that isn't working. It's near the corner of Wood Street. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Come on, Pippin. We've got a busy day today. First we'll go to the library. Then the dry cleaners, oh, and I must pick up those shoes from the menders. Oh, look! They've come to repair that lamp. Auntie Mabel. It was me who reported the lamp. It wasn't working last night, and I nearly fell over in the dark. Well, we soon get it going again. He's checking the electricity. The lamp post has wires in it which carry electricity from cables under the ground. If ever you see the side of a lamp post open like this, don't. Touch it. Electricity is very dangerous. That's all working, so I'll go up and check the lamp. Can I go with you? Yes, of course. You stay here, Pippin. Stay on the pavement now. worn out, just like my bulb at home. So Dave's putting a new one in. Have you ever wondered who turns the street lamps on? This little sensor does. It can tell when it's getting dark. We're going to play a trick on it to find out whether the lamp's working now. Cover it up. It'll think it's gone dark and turn the lamp on. It takes a little while to warm up. Are you all right, Pippin? <coughs> Look, it's working. So it did need a new bulb. Now we know it's working, we can take the cover off so the sensor can see daylight and it'll turn the lamp off again. Isn't it clever? Street lamps haven't always worked like this. Oh, no. Years ago, they used gas instead of electricity. 
and there were people whose job it was to go round lighting them one by one. They were called lamplighters. I know a story about one of them. A hundred years ago, there lived a lamplighter and his son, Albert. Every evening, as it began to get dark, Albert would play while his father lit all the lamps in the town. One day, Albert's father wasn't very well. He worried about the lamps. Who would turn them on? If they weren't lit, people might hurt themselves in the dark. I can light them, said Albert. I know what to do. He picked up a pole, which his father used to light the lamps. It was called a torch. And then off he went. Now Albert was much shorter than his father. And even though the torch was on a long pole, he couldn't reach the lamp. So he went home to fetch a ladder. He picked up the heavy ladder and the torch and carried them both back to the lamp. He climbed the ladder and held the torch up to the lamp. But nothing happened. Then he remembered a pole with a hook on it. So he went home to fetch it. He picked up the pole, the heavy ladder and the torch and made his way back to the lamp. He climbed the ladder and tried again. He hooked the pole round a chain and pulled it to turn on the gas. Then he lit the gas with the torch and the lamp began to shine brightly. Done it, said Albert. All night he struggled with the heavy ladder, the pole and the torch. Just as Albert had finished lighting all the street lamps, the sun came up and it was morning. Now all he had to do was put them all out again. Oh, what a busy day. I'd be glad to get home. Oh, Pippin, look. The street lamp's working. So I won't fall over the rubbish bag, which I notice is still there. New bulbs working well. We don't need the torch anymore, Pippin. Where are you going? Oh, you're putting it away. Thank you, Pippin. You are a clever dog. Mm -hmm.